In the Dallas area, uh, there are more than 1,700 beds that are available today in the event that they were needed for COVID-19. In the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, there are more than 2,300 beds. We also found out that this weekend, state troopers are actually going to begin tracking travelers who come into North Texas from some of the hotbeds around the country for coronavirus. Andrea Lucia is live for us tonight over at DFW International Airport. And I, I heard this is the expectation is troopers are actually going to meet these people and speak to them face to face, right? Well, that is what the executive order that Governor Abbott signed says. It will take effect Saturday at noon. It involves travelers from the New York area, from the New Orleans area. We actually came out here to DFW Airport to find those coming in today and ask them what they think about this. Our plan did not go as expected. In an eerily empty DFW Airport, we tried catching passengers arriving on a flight from New York. But the flight crew confirmed there were none. Not one single passenger on the whole plane. We didn't spot a soul coming off a flight from Newark either. The New York tri state area is the center of the coronavirus pandemic in the United States. Beginning Saturday, a new executive order from Governor Greg Abbott will mandate anyone who does fly to Texas from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, or New Orleans complete a 14 day quarantine. According to the order, travelers from those areas will fill out a form telling the state where they'll be confining themselves so state troopers can make unannounced visits to verify they are there without any visitors. Failure to comply with this order is considered to be a criminal offense that is punishable by up to a $1,000 fine or 180 days in jail. Florida's governor enacted a similar order earlier this week requiring those from the tri-state area isolate themselves there as well. Do you like my, my corona fuzz? Over Skype yesterday, we checked in on Plano's mayor, who last week chose to voluntarily quarantine himself after his daughters returned home, one of them from New York. We're all fine, no, no, no symptoms, but I, I won't ask my citizens to do anything that I'm not willing to do. Well, there is one pretty big loophole in the order, and that is that it only does apply to people who are flying into Texas. The CDC has asked anyone, though, who is coming from the greater New York area specifically to voluntarily self-quarantine for 14 days, but they are not legally required to do so. Governor Abbott did say that he considered adding Washington and California to the list of places in this order. He did not, but he said he might later on. Reporting live from DFW Airport, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.